This video is about computing cash flow from assets. We have the balance sheets and income statements for years 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015. All values are in million dollars. Let's write cash flow from assets in cell M1. Copy the same formatting of the balance sheet or income statement using the brush. In cell N2. Write equal B2. Press enter. From the small box on the right bottom. Drag to cell Q2. Now we have the years of analysis. Make them bold and aligned to the center. Cash flow from assets is calculated as. Cash flow to creditors. Plus. Cash flow to stockholders. In cell M3. Write cash flow to creditors. Cash flow to creditors is calculated as. Interest paid. Minus. Net new borrowing. Net new borrowing. Is calculated as. Ending long term liability. Minus. Beginning long term liability. In cell O3. Write equal. I9. Which refers to interest payable. Minus. Open bracket. C14. Which refers to long term debt in 2013. Minus. B14. Which refers to long term debt in 2012. Close bracket. Press enter. In cell M4. Write cash flow to shareholders. Cash flow to shareholders is calculated as. Dividends paid. Minus. Net new equity raised. Net new equity raised. Is calculated as. Ending contributed capital. Minus. Beginning contributed capital. In cell 04. Write equal. I13. Which refers to dividends paid. Minus. Open bracket. C16. Which refers to common shares in 2013. Minus. B16. Which refers to common shares in 2012. Close bracket. Press enter. In cell M5. Write cash flow from assets. In cell O5. Write equal. Sum. Open bracket. Choose cells O3 till O4. Close bracket. Press enter. In order to expand the formulas to all years of analysis. Highlight all the formulas we did in year 2013. From the small box on the right bottom. Drag them into years 2014 and 2015.